Hello sports fans, I'm Harry. Welcome to Harry's Stuff and Such. Well today I'm plan to upgrade my Ender 3's power supply, the original power supply, with this power supply. I mean well, 350 watt, 24 volt power supply. So stick around and see how it's done. As I mentioned, I plan to replace the stock power supply of my Ender 3, and I plan on replacing it with with this, it's a, a Meanwell LRS 350 watt, uh, 24 volt power supply. It's a slim power supply, so it's uh, but it's a better power supply than the stock power supply on the original uh, Ender 3. So I plan to replace that. Now, first thing is I've got to remove the two bolts that hold it to the frame. And of course, then I've got to remove the switch and then some of the other wiring. So let's uh, go ahead and do that now. All right, so be sure and support your power supply when you're removing it. All right, I've got a couple of plugs I need to undo here. I got to remove the old cover. And I have to remove the old plug. So now we need to remove all the wires and I need to remember ex exactly where they went. So we've got uh, We've got line, neutral, and ground. Yellow is the ground in this case. And the black one is neutral. Red one is line. That was the way it was put. Now since this uh, new power supply is slimmer, as you can see by quite a bit, about half the width, um, I'll need a new uh, case for it. And I printed one. This one I downloaded off of um, Thingiverse. Uh, I, uh, added a few extra features to it, imported it into uh, Tinkercad and added a couple of things to it. Um, but you can find these, So, but you'll need to get one. You don't have to print this one exactly. If you go to uh, Thang's website, T-H-A-N-G-S, uh, um, and do a search for Ender 3, uh, meanwhile, uh, LRS 350 24, uh, cover, you'll find a, a whole slew of these things on uh, out there. Uh, the good thing about things is it uh, not only searches uh, Thingiverse, but it searches all the sites out there that have free uh, STLs that you can download and slice. Well, I've got the uh, wires disconnected from the old power supply, and so now I'm going to uh, connect everything back up to the new one. Uh, I got my new case, and so I've got to route the switch in. And reattach my new case. So I've reattached the old switch to the new case. Now I need to attach these wires back to the power supply. And remember the order from which uh, they're supposed to go. We hit the yellow that was the uh, that was the ground. We had our neutral line and our and our line and then our line and then 
reattach power supply to the case using the same screws that I took, had when I uh, took it off. And so now I've installed the new case on the new power supply. And so now it's time to install this assembly back onto the Ender 3 printer. And I'm using the same hole locations as previous. Now I have the power supply reattached to the Ender 3. Now it's time to plug everything back in. Another important item is to make sure you've got your power supply set to your uh, country's uh, voltage. Uh, there's a switch here that you have to flip either for 115 or 230. I'm at 115, so I need to flip that down. Let's see if it will turn on. And there we go. We're back in business. Okay, now, so I'm printing with my new power supply installed. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's nice and quiet. And if I come around here to the power supply, you can see the fan right now at this moment is not spinning. And even when it does uh, turn on, uh, it's quite quiet, much quieter than the old power supply. Well, there you go. I've got my new power supply installed on my original Ender 3 back here. It's printing a flexible filament right now. I'm printing a little octopus for my uh, granddaughter. Uh, I've got my Prusa going in the background. In fact, you might could hear it over the ender back here. But uh, of course, with printing with flexible, the ender is printing slower. But I will say that power supply is quiet. I really like it. Um, so if you guys like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, mm, give me a thumbs down. That's okay. Leave a comment either way. Let me know what you, uh, how things are going, if you want me to do something else to my Ender. Uh, now, as with anything, if you decide to do this upgrade on your original Ender 3, you're drilling at your own risk now. Uh, this is a in, uh, informational and entertainment video, nothing else. And so if you decide to do it and you break it, it's on you, not me. So uh, you guys uh, click that subscribe button as well. And y'all have fun, be safe, and I'll catch you on the backside.